and a second right after this case starts. So I wanna hear this story. I like the story of this game. I see that you made Kelly mad. <laughs> I see it in the chat. Drink drive. How was that a case? It is. A Broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? <laughs> That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. Right across the street. A Chevy yep. Styline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. Yeah, use that. Use that word in your next argument. Escarpment. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. You, Doris moved uh, moved, uh, in sh my uh seats. My I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. I hate to break it to you, Cole, but you'll never fit in this Okay, I am in the uh, live stream voice chat. Let me harass this guy again. Oh, it's a different guy. Younger guy. Isn't that the cop who caught the guy that was pretending to be dead? Yeah. Oh, actually, that's topical. Nice. What is this? What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? <laughs> Kowski is always getting in the way. Okay, all right, well, goodbye. Can I just walk over there? Is it close enough to just walk? He did try to soak in Perry, too. Yeah, I heard that uh, our resident Miguel has been thieving. Quite often. Careful. Oh yeah, I think I have to walk up there. Let me just park my car very precariously. No, you can't go. Hey, hey, nobody said you could go. Okay, that was funny. Hold on, I can't want to do that again. <laughs> oh my god, she's... Hello? Oh my god, she's dead! Mister, don't look at that. Don't look at that. She's... She mega died. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry, let's go back to the case. It's just really funny to push people in this game. <laughs> well, if I just trample it, yeah, this game is collision is very interesting. June Ballard, Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain McAfee. has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Isn't that the uh, antivirus? Phelps, traffic, Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? <laughs> Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story escarpment. is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering. If she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. Pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They're taking her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, 
can stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Huh? Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, and another shot, and another, oh my god. By the crash site. Yeah, I won't deny them. <laughs> Those guys are mega dead. <laughs> that poor lady. She really, like, walked right off the side of that stairs and just died. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. Of I don't like. <laughs> a doping allegation. Uh oh. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. But who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. No wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. Can't remember? Oh, I don't like that facial. That facial faux pas. I'm gonna see what doubt does. It's a serious offense to withhold information Ooh. from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. Mark Bishop. Let's go to Mark. Why did you this do this to me? Because it was funny. <laughs> it was just a prank. It was just a prank to us. It was just a prank. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. It doesn't. Hey, that doesn't work for us. We need to. What? We need to investigate, dude. Uh. Yes, Dow. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it. And this is where I end up. I feel like a Harry Potter mark on her head. <laughs> nice. Although I really want to hit somebody off the cliff. We need to get our bearings. I'm truly trying to... Um, not do that. Because <laughs> it would be really funny. Get out of the way, dude. Get out of the way. Dehydration. <laughs> okay. Hold on. How bad is it? Come on, you can tell me. We are hydrated. Payback, even though it's not that bad. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this clear shot that I had to knock him off the cliff. It would have been so fun. <laughs> Alright, where's the... Where's the car? Do I have to go all the way down? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go all the way down. Can I slide down? Can I jump down? Okay, no. How do I get down there? What are you- wait, what are you doing? Push him and I won't drink. <laughs> There though. Do I have to go all the way down to the ground? There's no other evidence, right? I didn't see any markers for the evidence. Maybe this way. Yeah, okay, it's it's this way. 
Don't tell me I have to walk all the way down, then all the way back up to question her again. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Uh oh. Where's the other witness? Or not witness, victim. <gasps> Antaloons. Oh, they've been ripped clean off. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run it a seems... trace for semen when I get back to the lab. This seems a little bit insensitive. Ooh. I think I've had enough wasabi. I'm beginning to <laughs> understand Chinese. <laughs> oh my god. Arm is really saying magnetic. Also, mom's job. Welcome to the job. Glad you made it safe. Good drive. She's a long way from home. This is a very long letter. I'm not going to read the entire thing. Uh, dear Jesse, please, please, dear, come home. If you're worried about your father, don't be. All is forgiven. He's a hot temper. He can be very. He can be very proud. But you're still his little girl, and he loves you. I don't. I know he didn't mean those things he said. Blah, 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 blah. Dear, dear Jesse, please come back. I'm frightened for you. I can't help feeling something terrible is going to happen. I cry for you every night. Your loving mother, uh, Camille Hamilton. Aww. Aww. Also, did I hear you correctly? You killed a grandma a while ago? I don't know what you're talking about. That's so sad. Mom was right. Okay, nothing here. Whatever. I'm drinking gallons of wasabi. <laughs> Every time he kills someone or fails a mission. <laughs> oh, I can talk to the coroner. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Nothing out of the ordinary besides the obvious. You torture yourself because it's fun. <laughs> of course. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How what so? is that? Well ahead I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. What is this? <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, Horatio. Is it real? It, is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian truck and head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? Plaster of no, Paris? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Oh. Do you want those in your room? Just like staring at you while you're going to bed. We should speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. Thank God. You're always talking about how what the shots you're gonna take when I fail. But the question is, what if I never fail? What if I um, am a good citizen and I do not kill any people? <laughs> do I have all the clues? I think it it played the music that means the clues are done. For drinking wasabi. <laughs> Wasabi's cancelled party. I do um I do love ginger though. Whenever I have sushi. I love to put ginger in my soy sauce. It gives it like a nice little ting. It's very nice. Very good. Okay, yeah, I figured I was gonna have to ask her some more stuff. 
I thought it said her skin was blue and her eyes were black. I was like, all right, well, I know about that. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? Um... I mean, we do have the underwear, but does that actually link to it? Let's ask her. I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica. Oh, yesterday. yeah, that would. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I'm offended, sunshine. Do you have any proof? You question her already? Yeah, there's new evidence. We have to question her about it extra, because she's the only witness that's here. Um, the underwear, right? Gotta be the underwear. They were ripped off. Miss Hamilton's okay, underwear good. were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a cast. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. All right, so we gotta find this Mark Bishop guy for sure. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. She's been making the same stink face every time I ask her a question. Is this lady never going to tell the truth? Lie. Mrs. McAfee, you're lying. You're wasting our time. You know what's going on here. You just won't tell us. You're sweet, but simple too. The burden of proof is with the law. Um. I'm like, what do I have that's gonna prove that she's a, a garbage driver? <laughs> This is, this is not hers. Where is it? Hold on, I'm gonna... Mm, hold on, I'm gonna doubt her, what she Sometimes says. you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. And if not, I'll just re-question her. I'll just reload it. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? Yeah, she's McCaffrey. saying way too much about this Mark guy. We gotta find out. If you accompany Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. Oh. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Comparing your driving to hers, if she's worse, then that's your answer. <laughs> I should I should be able to do that. <laughs> she's really pushing the blame on Mark. Yeah, we gotta find what's going on with this guy. Maybe she's like using him as a scapegoat, and she did it. Maybe she's like I mean I don't have a, I don't have a better word for this, but like pimping her out basically. She's young. So they made like a big deal to say like she's really young. Okay, she's ready to be questioned. Okay, Roger. And Ruth. You know we've got a siren, Phelps. I'm done drinking, I'm starting to feel weird. Okay, good. <laughs> no more drinking. No, 
don't mind me. Just taking the stairs. You're really just gonna walk by like nothing happens? Alright. Alright. Oh, this is where my car was. I forgot I parked it. <laughs> right, right on the bottom of the stairs. Oh, the hospital's right next to the police station? That's convenient. Hey, where are you going? Oh, nurse. Detective Phelps, here to interview with Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton? Oh, yes. She's in the room, right behind you, detectives. You can't hold me to you. No. Feeling better since this morning, Jessica. Doctor, I need my lawyer. Hey, where is the telephone? Do you know who I am? Can I get out of here today? Okay. <laughs> Sorry I, like, walked in and out of the room, but, like... Who's yelling? Who is yelling about? Is that June? I wanna go see June. Oh, the hospital, you can literally walk into the hospital from the police office, um, this area thing. Let me in, let me in. I love the woman look the same except for the color, yeah. They really said, uh, we're getting one actor to do the mocap and that's it. <laughs> about your accident if that's okay um okay oh she's really young yeah that's mm, that's not good oh, she's 15 oh my god her underwear got ripped off of her that's ugh. makes you feel awful um crash incident can you tell me what you remember about the crash it's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Nothing happened? Bro. Oh, ugh. I just realized you can tell that she's lying because... She doesn't... Either she doesn't feel like he'll believe her. Or... She's trying to protect somebody. Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. Bro, underwear was like ripped off of you. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I... I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. Oh. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. Of course she did. That was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not mm. Junie's fault. Yeah, I agree. It's not my first time. No, not that, not that it's not her I fault, but... I had a boyfriend but... back home, but... My father found out about him. Even if you consent to Jessica, you're still underage. <laughs> yeah, June seems very irresponsible for how old she is. Um, contact with parents? We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. Oh, uh, boy, they told you to come home. I have the letters. Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, detective, why would I lie to you? Is the mother leave already? Yeah, this one, asking her to come home. Yeah, they do not trust her. Because you were a runaway, Jessica. Uh, that June. Parents permission well, they do not here. trust June. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. Association with Bishop. Oh, Mark Bishop. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. 
What does it? What does it have to do with anything? What? You, what? What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment. Escarpment. There it is again. I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. She met him through the movie? Oh, yeah. Okay, that does make sense now. Uh it's of abuse. This girl is criminally abused. Uh oh. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. in front of the mermaid. Mm. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? Uh, it's... No. <laughs> this is not... Mm, maybe just go it's home. The tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Oh, there she was. That was her. Lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. That music change. <laughs> there she goes. Come on. Automatic coin machines. Okay, I'm really bad at these, so... Here goes nothing. Ballard is definitely up to something. Yeah, I agree. There's definitely something that she's hiding. And, I mean, dare I say, she uh, probably, you know, Caused it. She probably like tried to pimp her out and be like, "Hey, you know, get me this part in the movie, and you can have this young girl." Which unfortunately was like, you know, quite a bit, quite a big problem. Don't cause attention. I'm trying. <laughs> Get in there and see what she's up to. One heck of a Sunday. Enter the cafe without being seen. She's busy. Find a booth with a newspaper. Incognito mode. <laughs> Him taught a 
and you know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. I'm going to be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Sure, I got the film. <laughs> oh my god. Did you see the- oh my god. Did you see the bartender just like, making faces the entire time she was on the phone? <laughs> just being like, um... Ma'am, this is a Wendy's. Why did she even do that? I don't even think... Here's the thing, this is like way before they can track phone calls, like just make the... Just make the, uh... She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Before he's done the job properly. McAfee will break a fellow's legs just from looking at the problem. Watch it! Also film, yeah, that's what they used to call movies. <laughs> This is back when they actually used, like, movie film. I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Ballard definitely sold her out. was doing someone a favor. Why did they try to kill her? Oh man. I needed that car. Aya. Quick, call the police. Emergency call. I need to take this. Okay, that was- okay, listen, that was just a really sharp turn. I needed- I needed somehow to break. What's on the film? Ooh, actually, yeah, you have a point. Maybe it might be like a- a no-no film. Oh, <gasps> no, don't tell me that they drugged her- they drugged the girl to be on the film. Well, I made it. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Ooh, that poor girl. I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Is it Mrs. Bishop? Uh oh. Oh, uh, hold on. What? I literally just said what I needed to look at, and I didn't pay attention. Take the elevator, and then left. Okay. Take the elevator. I was like, what? Huh? That was a very interesting animation. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. That's door on the right. This one? I said, wait, hold on, it's 8.03. No, 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 no! No, no! God, stop hitting all the elevators, dude. I didn't tell you to do that! <laughs> what the heck? There we go, 8.03. LAPD, ma'am. 
Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in, officers. He's pretty. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess. We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I, I will. Thank you, officer. She looks like a like a very popular um, actress, like nowadays. I forgot. I don't remember her name, but she looks like somebody very familiar. Huh? Presented to Mark. Gay cowboys. It's Quince. <laughs> I like as soon as you said that, I looked at this. <laughs> <laughs> Five dollars. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. It's just five dollars. I ship it. <laughs> All the cowboys. Uh oh, another. Yet again, the spoon strikes again. Nothing significant. Okay, whatever. What else? The coffee cup, dude. Stop pinging the detective senses. I thought this was a hotel, but I guess it's an apartment, huh? You wouldn't have this much furniture uh, in a hotel. Doesn't tell me anything. What do you think? Take a look around. You never know what those goons might have left behind. Circumstantial. The color. What's that? Principles of color and color mixing. Okay. Are there any clues at all? What is this? Whoa, what is this? Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. Intolerance. Love struggle throughout the ages. The Great Wall of Babylon. I want to look at the weird angels on the top. Yeah, that stuff. No, wait, no. Ugh. I wanted to look at that. Okay, interesting. Interestingly enough, that was like untouched. Hello? What's it doing? Don't think this is anything. New Testament, okay, nothing's in the book. Optimistic call. What? What do you want from me? It tells me to check. This is a new case. You could probably kill somebody with that. It's so heavy. You can tell it's Buddha, because Buddha has a hat himself. Oh! What's this? $20,000 check. Oh my god. Lorna... What is that name? Lorna Hollywood? What if that statue has the film? That would be a good place to hide it. What is that? Looks like it says a marionette. <laughs> I have my own branding. Finally. Okay, let's see if that's all the clues I need. I don't think it's all the clues because the music is still going on. Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? 
That slut. Okay. She's been badgering my husband for days. Okay, so you do know who she is. alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. And then she immediately makes that face. <laughs> First thing Jinx thinks when he sees a heavy statue. Hmm. Could probably kill somebody. <laughs> mm, let's see, let's see. I would say. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. Yeah, it basically seems like having like having to doubt somebody basically pushes them more on the subject. Having like pressing truth just means like okay, that's the end of this conversation. It's like a conversation under like there's nothing to learn from that. So doubt really is just like push push her more information, I guess you could say. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl. Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. Uh, what is that based? I don't know about that. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth oh. is, my husband likes them young. Oh no. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Ugh. Happens to a lot of girls. It does, and that that's the part that sucks. This is very it's feeling very Harvey Weinstein. B movie. <laughs> There's a B <laughs> I like how both of you guys are like B. <laughs> This is the origin of the B-movie. Uh, let's see. Consume posture, consume stretch, and consume hydration. It's time to stretch. <sighs> okay. And also hydration. Make sure you guys also hydrate. And not wasabi water. <laughs> Can we get on with this, please? Ma'am, I'm trying to hydrate. Relax, please. I need more water because I've been hydrating so much. Okay, the check. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex wife? Are you sure? Oh, it did say Lorna on it, yeah. Girl, you lying. You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Look at this check. It's signed to Lorna. Lorna Hopgood. Your husband? Looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Uh, okay, I guess that's not it though. the set. Hollywood's own little piece of Babylon. Oh, that's the movie set. Okay. There's also a blue car. It's all in there with a piece of cheese on the window. J 
yeah, I opened that door too, I guess. You guys remember when, like, taking a, uh, like, a slice of cheese and throwing it on someone else's car while you're driving was, like, really big? Like, everybody was doing that. Well, that makes sense now, because she, Cole was immediately like, it's on the prop store. And I was like, what do you mean? We've literally never, what? We don't even know where that goes. I guess I was supposed to find this first. Okay. Oops. Okay. What about the bishop? Do you, do you have any idea how badly I want to throw cheese at drivers? You got your license now. Uh, I wish I could drive like how I drive in this game. <laughs> It'd be great. There would be no war. It'd be just peace. 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 <laughs> Why was I saying peace? Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Uh... Hmm... I don't know about that. But she just giving me, like, a dead-ass stare, so... Alright, whatever. Either we find him, or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him, but I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. That was very aggressive. For ending not aggressive. Okay. Alright, I guess. Skedaddle skadoodle. With this weird elevator. Animation. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and producer wife. He finally rubbed shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Oh, got him. Sell soul to devil. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I think there's gonna be a newspaper around here. Okay, that's not a newspaper, but all right. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. How could I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thank you. All right, so we gotta check out the prop store. It's not a newspaper that I can flash back into. Did you hear that whole thing with Kanye and how he used people for a ritual? What? What do you mean? I mean, it sounds like something Kanye would do, honestly. But what do you mean? I don't like this one, the concept of it scares me. Yeah, it's the, the scariest part is that this happened in the 1950s and it happened right up until like current time. I'm sure it's still happening, you know, but we're a lot more aware of how creepy things can get in, uh, in Hollywood. That's very problematic. That's where the whole Me Too movement came from, really, realistically. But it's good that people are able to 
you know, call these people out without being, without feeling scared. Okay, I guess there's no newspaper. I thought there would be. They took her to the prop store, basically. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Eh, you think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the track. Mm, both are possibilities. It is, and it was five years ago as well, and said to think it was true. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's frustrating, to say the least, to, to have people actually get away with this kind of stuff. And it, it really is just, like, despicable. All for a movie, too. Like, I don't know about you, but, like... A movie? Like, really? You ruin someone's life? And or kill them? Like... For a movie? Oh, I'm driving away from the dispatch. Oh wait, it might no. Hold on. On my way, I'm on my way. Shoo shoo bandits? What? What took you so long? They're getting away! What happened here, sir? They. They had guns. They slapped them. They took everything and then booked. They went that way, the, the, the stairs alongside the track. Where he slapped his hand away. Locate the suspects. Okay. Oh, this way. LAPD! Cop, time to dust! Car 11K, shots fired. The suspect is down at 3rd and Hill. It's code 4 here, but I need an ambulance. That the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? It was also reported that people tried to leave. But there were guards blocking the area with rifles. What? If, <laughs> if Kanye goes to court, is, is Kim gonna defend him? Because she's like getting her lawyer, like, card or license or whatever, right? Is she gonna defend him? <laughs> Gonna be like, Your Honor, those people there in the crowd, they were not sacrificed. They were all wearing Yeezys. They're all going to go to heaven. It doesn't matter. And I'm gonna be like, you know what, Kim, you're right. You're you're right. <laughs> ah yeah. Someone gets hurt. 
How blurry that was. Not that I know of, but I didn't research further because it felt weird reading about it. Oof. But Jeffree Star will have a podcast and dig up these weird stories. I would love that. I'd love to, like, research um, those true crime stories. And true crime right now is on the up and up. It'll be Stephanie Sue. <laughs> Stephanie Sue times two. It would have to be like an eating show, honestly, because one, I love eating. <laughs> Phelps and eating and sleeping. LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ! Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here. How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. That's us. Away. That's suspicious. He's gonna make a book for it. He's gonna, isn't he gonna run? Is he gonna run? Dude. Oh no, he's doing it. He's actually leading us to it. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. <laughs> All right. True crime, something I believe I'm too familiar with. Uh oh. Uh oh. Next story. You watch those conspiracy theories, Iceberg, and like Mandela effects. Those are interesting to watch. Do I go this way? Where am I going? Everything here is going to be relevant. Got that JPEG? Hold on. That like JPEG of the scarf is so bad. Oh my god. Doesn't give me anything to go on. What is that? Lip balm? Also twisted, I hope you can Hope we can make you feel safe in this community. Yeah, I hope you feel safe. Besides the, the yelling, um, the yelling children. Dude, I was just talking about uh, about this dude Gibran about like if you see a mirror pointed to a toilet, especially in a ladies' restroom, less restroom, just book it, dude. Just book it because that's this is the most nefarious thing you could probably have because I'd say like. Nine out of ten times, if this mirror is facing the toilet, it's a two-way mirror. And you could look directly into it. Listen, I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back in school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cullen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. <laughs> Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cullen? We might have, yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cullen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. <laughs> now can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Please. <laughs> so how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're gonna be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and serrettes. Yeah, serrettes. Great. We can put it into big vats. We can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. We want to buy you out, kid. 
offer you 50 grand. Hey, hey, you don't like my offer? The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Yeah. This man just has a phone at the table? Also, that guy that sat down first. His accent was so thick. It was like, that feels a little racist. Also, on the side note, how long are these cases? They were pretty long. Here's the head. Yep. So this is where you sprang from. Yep. Yeah, I feel like once you've been through so much you just abuse, you just get tired of it, or who knows how it just used to feel. I want to tell my story. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, don't feel bad that... We understand. Voice chat. <laughs> I was in the voice chat and you didn't pop up. You didn't pop in and say hello. How could you? On this, the day of my daughter's wedding. Where are the... Who's disappeared, yo? Go back. <laughs> Okay. Well, this is good. <laughs> You're finally in. What's up? Uh, I've been trying to tell you to finish the prediction for hours now. Tell me what? The doggo yum yums. I bet. I bet all my doggo yum yums, and I won. Nobody betted on the other side. I know. Just delete it. What happens if I, um... Say the other side won, do you just lose all your points? <laughs> that would not be nice. No one wins nothing. <laughs> yeah, I just... I, do is I deleted it. Oh my gosh. My channel points. They're back. That's what I've been trying to tell you for like three hours. Why didn't you just type that in the chat? Uh, don't question me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta go rob Javon. What? Okay, I have to investigate this really slimy looking guy. I don't know why I hit death air back and just leave the call. <sighs> okay. Association with bu -bu 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 Bishop. A slimy mother forker. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? I mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah. When Bishop is doing work for a studio. Yes. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production, though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. Yeah, sure. Sure. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. Lying you around? Here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? Okay, I was going to say, I don't actually know what I'm going to get him on with the evidence, but... I'm saying lying around afterwards is definitely the drugs. Mm. A 
15 year old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Yes. Bishop was here Pretty with strong. two ballad and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Relationship with June Ballard. That bow tie looks, looks like a... Yeah. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. Yeah, all right. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. I would probably say the... Where is it at? This one. This thing. Enough. I've been in your peep room, Hopgood. I've seen your smut pictures in the camera setup. You made a movie of Jessica. I found the canister. The deal is I get to sell the movies to burlesque houses and private collectors. These movie guys love seeing their cocks on screen. But part of the arrangement is I never film their faces. June had me film Bishop, and then she kept the movie for insurance. He went apeshit when he realized his face was front and center. Who has the film now? Who else? McAfee. Oh, McAfee has it. Huh. Okay, evidence of blackmail. That's a check, right? Ballard had what she wanted. Where does the money come into it? What money? Bruh. Bruh, I have the check. Enough of the lies. I told you I get my cut selling dirty movies. Bruh. We literally have the check. Made out to your wife. Your ex was getting 20 large from Bishop. If I wanted to skim 20 from Bishop, we'd do it through the movie budget. June said she'd sell him the film once the movie had wrapped, but Guy wanted cash. He's in a cash-only business. You think I had a choice in this? Hmm. All right, well, we gotta still find Bishop. Uh, hello? I thought my controller died because he wouldn't move. There was still one more clue, but the thing ran out. Can't go in here. You would think during an investigation you'd open all the doors, but I guess not, huh? Is there anything else? Oh, these, right? It's gotta be this. Oh, what the heck is this? a sword Jesus Is that real okay that was all the clues the um uh, intuition clue hunting thing doesn't actually help that much that was a little bit but not like a lot McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. Oh. Uh. You have something on him, and now you're going to rat him out to McAfee's goons. 
And how do you figure that, brain boy? Yeah. Mm, actually, it doesn't make sense. Looks like I made a mistake. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. Hmm. That's all for now, Hopgood. So it was We're connected, but in. not. Phelps! Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. This? Slide, Cole. Ooh. Let's get out of here. It just gets even more and more slimy, dude. Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We can beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McCaffrey can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb. A polite, but I'm a lot less polite than smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Jesus. That's, uh, there's a lot to unpack here. Aya! Like Vader subdue the mobsters? Mm, oh, you know I'm gonna subdue them. Boy. Oh, that was easy. Let's see him chase us now. Onto the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Yeah, they had to come. You don't get to come in, though. <laughs> nah, you're good. See you later. How do I pick the location again? There, I gotta go to the set. <laughs> Damn, you shouldn't have gotten in my way then, jeez. I think a whole train of people would notice a cop car coming. People these days, man. Got to be 
kidding. But uh, but yeah. Oh man, I said hot dog cart. Um, well, I took it on that guy instead. Um, but basically, so Vice, another jurisdiction of the uh, police, is uh kind of letting this shit happen, and that's that's police corruption all the way up. Jeez, that's a big set. There's a slippery bastard now. No. What the? God damn it! Why did you just run out? My so can I kill him? No, I can't. I can't even aim my gun at him. No, they definitely want me to take him alive. Bro, you're like a you're you're a kid toucher. You gotta. Mm. If I could kill you, I would. I literally can't. Won't even let me take my gun out. Phelps, come on. Bro, where do you think you're going? You're on a movie set. What do you think you're gonna do? You're just gonna fall off. We haven't had a good old-fashioned beatdown with somebody in a while. What was that? What was that? What was that? What do you mean I died? Cole did a backflip into the abyss. That had nothing to do with me. I didn't do that. What do you mean? What do you mean? Also, that part where, like, the floor breaks, that's an auto-run section. Like, I can't... Why, one, can't stop running, and two, I can't change the direction to go. Why did you do that? Hello? Why did you do that? This way. I was gonna check if I could vault over that, but I'm not even gonna try. God. These controls. Ah. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. We need we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAvee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. It's a chair. Uh oh, the mob's here. Uh oh. Christ, detective, they're trying to kill me. My hat. 
Not my hat. See the swerving? That's when I drive. That's not even really 100% me. <laughs> this game was just really wobbly. Got him. Alright, bro, come on. What are you hiding for? Bro, which way? It's really, really easy to get caught on, like, objects in the scenery. Like, if I accidentally, like, go like that, and, like, it's stuck on this object, I'm just stuck on it for a while. Down, 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 down. God, imagine how much rust is on this ladder. My hat's back. little scream that he does when he gets hit is really funny. Got him. Alrighty guys, it's gonna wrap it up for LNOR. Just kidding, six months later. Six months? That's a big time skip, dude. Red Lipstick Murderer. This one clue, yeah. Fortunately. We get a preview for the next case. We will not be playing, but we'll preview it. Ah. No. Good. Gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. 
Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. He's not too happy. He to be my partner. Alrighty, before they start talking. <laughs> I'm gonna end the stream. Okay. Alrighty. Every bed as well. Really great. Um, but yeah. Rory is a, a piece of something. You know. I, uh, if I know this game well, we're gonna be taking down Rory at some point, so. Don't worry, we'll take care of him. I hope. Anyways, guys. Thank you all for sticking around for me. For me? Or with me? That's what I meant to say. Oh, uh, yes, the cinematic camera. Thank you guys for sticking around with me for so long with this with these cases. They're super fun. They're super interesting. Um, and they tackle, you know, topical issues. So, hopefully you enjoyed. And, I um, hope to see you in the next one. We've taken on more cases. Each case takes like usually like like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So it's a good case or two for the night. But now we're all caught up on Xbox, so we can actually just jump in next time, right into the case instead of wrapping up the other cases. And, uh, my apologies to Twisted for <laughs> drinking a bunch of wasabi <laughs> for every time I killed somebody. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you guys again. Thank you for the likes, thank you for the shares, thank you for the follows, thank you for everything. Wouldn't be here without you. Thank you so much. As always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.